हेलो गाइस दिस इज अनीता मेहंदी लता वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पीपीएच टेबल अ वेरी इजी वे टू अंडरस्टैंड इट दिस इज माय डेटा माय मंथ्स आर रनिंग फ्रॉम जनवरी टू दिसंबर दीस आर माय डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स व्हिच आई एम सेलिंग व्हिच इंक्लूड्स लैपटॉप्स डेस्कटॉप्स रेफ्रिजरेटर मोबाइल्स टीवी एंड दीस आर माय सेल्स फॉर 2023 and for 2024 respectively now i want to create a pivot table from this so first of all we should understand the difference between table and pivot table table means like this detailing about various data points like running from january to december different products but a pivot table means summarization of different data points and giving us some kind of consolidated figure i want to create a pivot table out of this i can click on it go to insert pivot table from table or range this give me a dialog box now we can see there there is a table or range specified which ranges from a1 to d30 it means this data so there is no problem in it i can select okay and a pivot table will be created but i am concerned that if suppose i need to add additional row or a column to it it won't be added to this pivot table then i have to make it again so therefore it is recommended that i should declare this a1 to d13 data range to a particular table officially and formally so that pivot table can understand that this is actually a table and can take additional rows and columns whenever i add it for i need to declare this table as my official table so i go to insert table and it says that my data is ranging from a1 to t13 which is correct and my table has headers so i ticked it and i click okay so it named my table as table 1 but i don't like the name it is by default so i am writing my name to it anita m so i name this table as anita m and this design is a design it is giving me so i think the simple one suits me a lot so I choose the simple one so now before creating pivot table from this table at the time i should make ensure that my data has some headers because i want a summary for this table and i need to have some headers so that i can get a summary out of it secondly i should see that there should not be any empty row and when i click on any data point and go to insert i can click on pivot table it is asking me from table or range i said yes and then this dialog box opens in table or range it is giving me an eta m which is absolutely correct because i named this table as this and then it is asking me where you want that pivot table to be placed existing worksheet if i select then i have to give a location for it i am selecting new worksheet and click okay so this sheet another sheet is created in my system it is sheet 3 because i somehow deleted my sheet 1 so my actual data is in sheet 2 and my pivot table is in sheet 3 this giving me this pivot table fields as well which is divided in two areas like the upper area is giving me the headers the name of all headers are there months product sales 2023 sales 2024 and in the lower area it is giving me filters columns rows and values now i can consolidate uh, my data according to rows values columns and filters for instance if i take months and rows you can see here rows labels it is giving me all the months running from january to december and is also showing grand total i'm having values of sales 2023 so i have taken values uh, as sum of sales 2023 in values it's giving me all sums here 
if I take suppose 2024, it is giving me sum of sales 2024 as well. Now suppose I want to change it to see my average or the minimum or maximum point. I click on it and I go to value field settings. Under this, I have different options like count, average, maximum, minimum. I choose maximum and it is giving me maximum values now. Also, I can choose from here by right clicking the cursor and then I can go to value field setting. I can go for average, click OK and this is the average of sales 2024. So right now I want to see my sum values. So I change it to sum, click OK. Here also I want to see the sum and then I'm changing it to sum. Now this is my grand total and total for 23 and 24. Now suppose I want to categorize it by products. So I choose uh, products as my filter and this filter column has been added. I can see if I suppose want to look for desktops, click OK. Then these are the desktop sales for 2023 and 24 in the months of February, June, October and November. Similarly, if I want to see for refrigerator, click OK. Then my refrigerator sales are only in March and July. And these are my sums. So this is very interesting. A very interesting filter has been added. And I can actually see analyze my data when my products are most sellable when it is least sellable when it is not sellable and then i can carve my selling strategy out of it now suppose i want to add some other data for region and i have all east region north region south region and west region and let me repeat it other months as well so these are my regions which i have added let's see whether it has been added to my pivot table or not so it has not been added but remember we have taken anita m as my table so it should show here so let's so I right click on it and click on refresh it has been refreshed and now region has been reflected here right if suppose i want region to be added in my rows i want all in my filter i can see that row labels for months and region now suppose i want region as my filter and product as my row now region is in my filter column suppose i need for east region then these are my east region for january i'm selling laptops may TV, September TV and similarly suppose I need for South, click OK. Then this is all data I can see. So I can see the subtotals under one particular row. So this is quite interesting to see various uh, consolidated figures and that is what I like in PBR tables. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.